This is a video that is intended to teach you how to draw the brachial plexus accurately and well in less than 20 seconds. I'll begin by drawing the unlabeled plexus. Time me. And there you have the full brachial plexus. Looks kind of messy. Now I'll clean it up and I'll explain it to you. I like to start by labeling my paper with the ventral primary rami coming off the spinal roots. And these are C5 through T1 on the left margin of your paper. Then across the top I use the acronym of remember to drink cold beer and that stands for roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and branches. The easiest way to draw the brachial plexus is to draw two peaks first and then three horizontal lines. Then you come over to the divisions under the D and you make an X and then a slash. And the way I remember this is in bowling, a strike is better than a spare. Last, you come over to here to the branches column and you draw two waves like in the ocean and one long wave coming down from the top uh, along the right side here I use the acronym of MARMU M which is musculocutaneous A which is axillary R which is radial M which is median and U which is ulnar and these are those final branches coming off the brachial plexus. Now I'll take a step back and we'll start labeling the smaller nerves that pop off this brachial plexus. We'll start here in the cords division. This is the easiest way that I remember it. And it goes one, three, three. And these are the lateral pectoral. And after this lateral pectoral, we'll pop down here to the medial pectoral. And these are, this three down here is easy to memorize because they all start with M. Uh, as I said, this is the medial pectoral. Next one is the medial brachial cutaneous. And the last one is medial antibrachial cutaneous. This is easy to memorize because it goes M plus one letter, M plus two letters, and M plus three letters. These middle ones here are all subscapular nerves. And uh, you have the inferior and the superior and the middle. And the middle subscapular nerve is also known as the thoracodorsal nerve. We pop back here to the trunks division and you have two branches here, the suprascapular and the subclavian. And lastly, you pop back here to the C5, C6 roots. Coming off the C5 root, you have the dorsal scapular and the long thoracic nerve. And I think the long thoracic nerve is the trickiest thing about the brachial plexus. It extends from the C5 root just distal to the dorsal scapular, drops down past C6 and C7, which each give a contribution to the long thoracic nerve. And there you have the brachial plexus.